Hello everyone, we are back in Erebor. We're, we're playing a lot of Erebor at, at the moment, but I really want to catch up. I heard through the grapevine of Galu that we might soon, emphasis on might, um, have a new version of this mod on hand. And so, I'm kind of feeling that um, my main machine needs to finish this campaign as uh, quickly as we can but uh, I think we're doing good progress on that front so we are um, trying to get Dwal into Mordor one doesn't simply walk in there so we're gonna have to fight a lot but uh, that time is gonna come we're also beating down the goblins with a bit of help from Gudlaf and um, the well the Angrim are doing their thing um, whatever else. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we need to beat Angmar, Gundabad, Moria. Yeah, it's all gonna be good. Oh, and Easterling's Rune. Do we need to take Rune's capital? Do, 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 do. Yes, we do. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we'll have to buy that from Dale, I suppose. Oh, well. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We should be able to buy it. Um, even though it will be ungodly expensive. But yeah, so we have a pretty clear path forward. Uh, destroy Mordor just to give the world a bit of breathing space from evil and then we're gonna take it from there we're gonna um, smash some goblins we're going to kill some angry folks we are going to have some fun doing so and then we're gonna buy mistrand apparently and I think that sounds like a pretty good plan now here in the north what is even happening? I mean, there's not much of an enemy force left at Erebor, so I think we'll be able to clear them out and declare this invasion a folly expedition. Gondor is weakened, though. Oh, that's sad. All right, Dwalin, you gotta hurry up, mate. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Um, more Dwalin culture would be nice. I'm gonna go that. Do, 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 do. Oh, a lot of catapults and troops and retrainings and oh, it's, it warms my heart. The woodland realm like us, yay! Our economy continues to struggle a bit against the weight of our armed forces. Ah, oh, but I want Hammers of Gundabad. So I'm gonna get Hammers of Gundabad. Don't judge me. Um, mm, 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 mm. <sighs> we don't need those halberds, do we? No, no, no. Want Hammers of Gundabad instead. What have we got here? King Shields. Dale Cavalry ready soon ish. You know what? You can. No, you can't. Ugh. Okay. Okay, okay. What do you guys got? You got a pretty bad army. You've got basically no army, and neither does Leofric the Fearless. What happens if we attack Leofric? I wonder. He gets joined by the others. Hmm, okay. What happens if we attack a Phanazir? He runs away. Glory and honor. And Lyric. Yeah. Oh. Brachnikar. He was the one who ran away. The fantasy air was stand. Nah. Not too crazy about it. Want to stay and retrain. Just for another turn. It's going to be fine. Okay. Dwalin. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah. That's basically where you're going to go. Hmm, I suppose we can make it through here. It's not that heavily... Uh, heavily occupied. It's a pretty empty place, this. We might run and... Uh, if we go along the roads, though, we're going to run into armies, but... I'm going to say we might be able to avoid them, because we have got our dear beloved spy. Hello, Ishtak. Well, then let's resolve them, shall we? 
Oh, sorry, I spied on you instead. Sorry, um... What is it you wish to discuss? This proposed Good day to you. Of course. Goodness. Rhoda is just the worst diplomat in the world. But hey. I'm gonna give him a chance to do better. Just a little one. Just a little one. Now, do we have an obvious target for the forces here in Mount Graham? No, I don't think we really do. Hmm. I guess it will be a while, but we could take some troops from Manazanar and send them off. Yes. Aye. So we have all these. Aye, uh, sands, a little bit laborers. And then... What else do we need? Some Iron Guard? What would be good against Dagmar? We have King Shields and Stone for Spearmen, so we're pretty good for Spearmen. Um... Blackrock cross uh or crossbows, yeah, engineers. Mm. Maybe. Not sold though. That is I mean, Dio, I like your commitment. That siege is probably not gonna go your way, but I am a big fan of your attempt. Hmm. Anyhow, I, I am going to send along some, mm, not halberds, I'm going to send some king's axes along. Move out. Ah, it's going to be nice. Alright. Um, any other extra troops hanging around in different place, spots? I mean, we have King Dine over here. He's going to Camp Bryn to pick up troops on the way. He'll get some from Gotland Town. That's going to be just lovely. Yeah, that's going to be the thing. And then these guys are going to go with him. But they're going to follow. They're going to follow Dane. Dane, Dine. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, let's investigate that route there. It's going to be good. And so we live, and our dwarves live as well, and as long as they live they will send orcs to hell. Hmm. And Nazgul returned to Dol Guldur. Kind of an in inevitability. And one to Mordor. Yeah, those were the two we killed a couple of turns ago. That's what happens, I guess. Look at all the lovely troops we have. With the board, heat us all. Nice, thank you. Continue. Continue building your things. Berserk will get to heavy armor. You can get a Tulkarin armor. Tulkarin? Tulkarin? I'm not sure. But please let please let me know what is the proper uh, syllable to stress with that word, Tulkarin. Telkarin? Telkarin. Basically, first or second syllable, what would you go with? Or Telkarin? But, oh, third syllable? No, I, don't, I think that sounds, uh, doesn't sound very Middle Earthish. Here, though, what do we want? We want to retrain. We need more infantry. We also need a practice range, so let's just get a bit of everything. 
Metal bird gets an arm rate. Yay. What does that do? Mm, not enough. No. He does all though. Does well, it does something. I think that place is just coming along like it should. Fenholm was the, the siege. Not much. I mean, that's just the. Of course they bloody did. <laughs> Naughty. Hmm. Captain Booth. Hello. Captain Booth. Man, we are leaking money. Losing money like a leaking vessel loses water. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. But we're gonna make a concerted effort to beat a Vanazir into the dirt you, nonetheless. And I personally think we're gonna do it. So first battle of the episode, quick save it and let's go. Black Rock Engineers, well, all archers really, you're going to be very, very useful today because we have an enemy to lure to come our way. We need you on a line. Looking good, looking fine. So let's find good line troops. Axes, Axe Gatherable. Extras, doing guard. Um, hammers. Okay, you go in over here. Going up on the side. You guys are going over here. You're being flanked by some cavalry. Let's see what we can do. Oh, they come toward us. What a happy happenstance. Alright. Um. Hmm. Okay, we're actually going to need our friends. Uh, kind of. Stanford Spearman, you're going to be needed over there. Herbal Infantry, you're going to be needed over there. Needed over there. You guys are going to be needed over there. Let's run, everybody. Four percent of them dead already from three RT units. Well done, chaps. Well done. Extras, savages, take them out. King shields, magics. Axe Gala variable. There's more fighters. Emery infantry. Yeah, let's go for those. Here come reinforcements. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, King Talbot. We're going in that direction. Which knights? Excellent matchup. We're gonna take that one. Please shoot them with crossbows as well, just for good measure. You guys, pressure those wargs. That's what I want you to do. 
And of course, the archers are going to be pressuring them as well. With hilarity to follow. Okay. Yeah. Those orc fighters are not going to know what hit them. Smash, smash, smash. And they just fall like nobody's business. Aimano! Aimano! Good, good, good. I mean, look at this. 25% of them dead already. The Witch Knights do not like what we have done to them. Which is gratifying. Yeah, good follow them. It's going to be good. There's run of the unrun marches. It's going to be good as well. You've lost 77. How do you lose so many? Orc hunters? Oh, goodness. T that's to teach you a lesson of not leaving your archers exposed to skirmishes. Cavalry, engage the archers, please. Oh, and the temple marksmen are shooting at our crossbows. That's why. Ah, oh, Leofric, 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 Leofric. Ah, uh, okay, what do we do there? Um... We overrun them, that's what we do. We are going to run right through the enemy. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Nice. Okay. The archers are not happy about life, which is like, that's how I like it, you know? Oh, these king's axes are just fighting off two units of orc fighters on their own. It's pretty damn impressive. How is it going to bat? We are going to run to those technical marksmen and give them a headache they will not soon forget. And, uh, Erebor Axes, you, you need to do something about them too. And there they come! Smash, smash, smash. Oh, look at this glorious effectiveness. Oh, hello, Duan's Guard, also coming in. Are badly bloodied. Yeah, they they're not going to survive head. this attack, I think. Hmm. Orc fighters running. King's axes victorious. I mean, so are you guys. Very good. Converge on those marksmen. What else remains? Basically nothing. Walks, I suppose. Um. Oh, a fan of the air. Hello. Get that mouldy potato. Hit him in the head. Okay. okay. Are we here? Are we here? Are we here? Not cool. Biting the dust. Dead. Let the crows have his miserable bones and let our swords have his men. Very nice. Very nice. 
I do have the feeling that like 10% of our losses come from Leofix marksmen. Standing there picking off heavily armored troops like they're crackers. Oh well. Only one enemy remains. And now he's going to meet Halberd Lines. He's wavering. He's not exactly fond of the situation he's in. And I do not blame him. Come on, guys. Archers, leave room for the adults. Come on. There we are. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. This is a clear victory. Okay, we gained some troops back. King's Axes, 463. It's really well done, folks. Really well done. Really, really, really well done. Mattox and Iron Fist Hammers. Durant's Guard. Very good all around. But King's Axes standing out here today. But the captains of the West were well warned by their scouts. Skilled men from Henneth Anun. And so with this battle under our belts, we shall bellow onwards toward Mordor. Um, peace, quiet. Hi. Good. And you guys go Move there. On. Merge what can be merged. Retrain what can be retrained. Words to live by. And so now we should begin to see Erebor's economy recover. Merchant banking, I think we will like that. And its effects most welcome. So. Then you're doing your thing. Dwarven. Now we are in hostile lands. So what do these guys have? I'm gonna stick you. Du -du 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 host, maulers, headhunters, archers, marauders. Mm. Not the best units. And they are but the pitiful remains of a larger army. Awaiting your command. Open trustworthy for what lies do you bring us there? Ah, we can't Goodbye. declare peace or Aye. sue for peace. Oh well. Who will they do? At least our economy is getting kind of back on track with Erebor now earning more money once again. And in turn, raising the incomes of neighbouring settlements. As soon as that annoying devastation has been dealt with in like 30 turns or something like that. It takes a long while. I actually feel like it takes longer for devastation to be rectified in the DAC mod than it does in the base game. And I would be happy to hear your opinions on this out there, everyone. Because, I mean, it doesn't make sense to just make it an almost eternal quest. Let us settle matters on the field of on battle. It, it, that you can't really influence. It's not like there's a building you can build that then says maybe I don't know give um, that uh, devastation devastation han is handled uh, fifty times faster. You know, like some kind of uh, agricultural welfare fund or something. I'm not even sure that would be a mechanic in the game, but I kind of want it to be now that I mention it.
Let's go with the mining complex. Litash. A lot of dwarven culture. This is very gratifying to see. <laughs> Great roads, what would that do? Raise a couple of hundred. Let's do that. The sooner we do it, the sooner we turn a profit. Okie dokie. You need to go there. I joining our forces. I I And I, you need to go I, Lord. Sell swords, not sure. Onward. Okay. I I Lord. Hmm, how many do we need? Let's take some magic out. That's a pretty good army. Catapults go over there. To the fort where you can be free. For me. Dragonslayers. Oh, I want them, I want them. Hmm. Okay, folks. It will be an honor One be enemy here. left for the smashing. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Glory and honor. And he is now thoroughly smashed, I guess. I respect you, my enemy. You know what, folks? I think that calls for another turn. Just one more. I we need the floor to, do, to go his place, you know, into his position. Dwalin, how are you doing? Well, too. Yes, my king. On my way. I. I. Forward. Your honor. Yes, sire. Have a taste of my blood. Aye, my king. Yay, we're at war with Dogodur, but they do not dare do anything. They know Dwarven's army is way too powerful for them. Powerful enough to spit in their faces and call it soup. That was a weird expression I just made up. So sorry you had to hear that. And it would look like we are not even attacked. Maybe, Angmar? Hmm. Nope. Our enemies just don't like attacking us. Hmm. Now, Erebor, you need to expand trade. So please do. Hall of Durin. Merchant Bank. I mean, look at all this trade that's going to happen here. That's actually going to be quite insane. Goodness me. Goodness, goodness gracious me. About to lose power, but hey, we're still here. And now I'm charging my computer because, hey, I don't want this episode to end right now. Not today, not tomorrow. 
Not even Toyota, no. I just don't want it to happen. With or without Japanese cars. Okay, anyway. Um, Ardenine declare war on Hells. Yay, they have landed over there. Hmm. Well, I suppose. Is that yay? It is potentially because the High Elves are at war with the Dwarves and they are actually beating them. But we want the Dwarves to get going and smash some Angmarim arse. And no Angmarim arse will be handed or smashed if those Dwarves of the Blue Mountains are feeling sad. Tarzul is getting chased by Glen Helmion. Oh, but Dale has a sonar control thing. We don't have military access with them. It's too bad. Lacker of the neck, hello! With your castellans. Okay. Let's spy ahead a little bit. Looks like we're pretty in, much in the clear to go for the Super Mordor Highway, which is nice. At your service. On my way. We might get attacked, but that is only a maybe, and I'm willing to take that chance. Now, Graham, you need to build something. And what would that then be? Feast hall. Silly question. It's a feast hall. Okay, let's bear these plans to fruition. Looks like I could have um, optimized the movement speed of that army a little bit. Just a little bit, tiny bit. Ask them to go a little bit further. I suppose they're happy with not being exhausted all the time, but still. So now we're just waiting for the last invasion forces to either stack around and be shot by our crossbows or maybe just dive from other courses, who even knows. But either way, the invasion is basically and practically over. Hall of Durin, Hammers again the bad. Very good to see you folks, very good to see you. Ah, still drawn to us, I see, Rachnekar. But I'm your enemy. Rachnakar, prepare to meet your end. The times come, lads, to battle. To battle indeed. Because he shall not live while we survive. You're gonna go like that, and the rest. Oh, sorry. Like that.
Okay. Do they walk toward us? No. There's some orc fighters. Give them a volley or two. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's a nice hill to thrive on. <laughs> They're actually outrunning our dwarves. Of course they are. They're faster. <sighs> our men are winning the battle. If we the witch like knights are. Oh, they're going for the cavalry. Ah, run away, guys. Run away. Black Rogue engineers, shoot those bums. And yes, do please shoot them in the bum. I don't like them. Only half the enemy force remains. The witch knights are losing it. Very good, very good, very good, everybody. What else is here? Pork fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go focus on those. With that shield the wall enemy formation. General lies dead. Let the crows the enemy army please the field. After them, cut the cowards down. Cavalry, you know what to do. There you are. Be in awe of the victory we have won here today. It was all right. Not groundbreaking. Didn't have much friendly fire though, that's always nice. I must admit though, my voice is feeling a little bit under the weather, it almost hurts just to talk, so... I'm feeling that I do want to record something tomorrow and I don't want my voice to be completely out of it. I want you to be able to enjoy the full dulcet tones of my yes, speaking please, voice. Lord. Without hindrance. Anyway, that's Thrain. Smashing his way through our enemies. Looks like we're actually going to turn a profit next turn. That's going to be wild. Because it's not like we have any fewer armies kicking about. But yeah, Movatarth with its gold mines, we like. Nice. Dwalin, how is your trip going? Meeting Captain Latrad. Yeah, it's not really. A great company, is it? No, 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 no. And then we go through the marshes. No, they shall not see you at all. Ruin the gossip, though. He's throwing about with. Yeah, throwing all sorts of weird stuff about about himself. I've no doubt. We're to hold 14 more regions. We'll see where they come from. One more turn for the road. I want to make it happen. And I want it to be nice. And I want to see the ending of that blown invasion script.
So come on, Evil Nations. Pack it up and go home. That's not what I wanted to do. In a school bus if necessary. Just go home. The Lord of Dolgodo is dead. Alright. Was the Moria besieged? Alright. Okay. So good seems to be doing, well, good in the north. Always an interesting development. Right, Huberg. What do you need? Hmm. Hmm. Do we need a port? I think we do. Yellowstone gets great roads and it's about to get a mining complex. Yes. Hmm. Musselberg. Not really a place where a lot of interesting scenarios happen, is it? Musselberg. Far away from everything. Anything that would happen. Let's get Aye, dwell man. into the Dagol lad. Something clear. I mean, we are going to be able to attack on turn one no matter what, so. Best not alert them, I, I guess? So. I'm not sure. 82% chance though, that's pretty good. Let's just do it. Quiet as a mouse. Yeah, you better be quiet as a mouse when going into that place. Good. I think we are on the right track. And then this is basically where I am going to end it. It has been a fun little episode, albeit perhaps slightly tired. But tomorrow I will be back with fire, fury and brimstone emanating from every pore of my body. Hmm. Yeah. It would seem doubtful that we are to be attacked. But Morvatarth seems to leave itself exposed. Though that is a story for another time. It shall be told and included in the next episode. Western Moria attacked and claimed by Khazadum. Okay, um... Do, 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 just quickly seeing what we can do if we're sure the enemy will not be pleased and here's this news, then we'll retaliate, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Cool. Okay. So the Dwarven Realms have been reclaimed by, well, Dwarves. What's the reward for doing that, sir? Though. Hmm. Not immediately obvious. Guess we'll find out someday. I think we are where we need to be on this one. So it will be very interesting to see Dine attack more of a Darth. 
against Moholt the Hillman and Captain Perth. I mean, we shall smash them. No to wait about it. And I hope you have a smashing day. Captain Turtlewaffle, considerably, friendly, musically out.